the biggest game of the year, Super Bowl 56, goes down next Sunday, February 13th. We'll get into all the biggest stories and betting odds in the lead up to the game, but something very important needs to be covered first. That's the Super Bowl prop bets, which have grown to be an interesting pastime in their own right. How long will the national anthem take? What color Gatorade bath will the winning coach have poured over him? And will Eminem's portion of the halftime performance need to be censored? You can bet on all these things and more with many of the best football betting sites. We'll break down our top 10 favorite props below and even give you some tips that could help you along the way. I want to thank MaximBet for providing all the props and odds you see used in this video. To place your bet on the Super Bowl with MaximBet, all you need to do is click the link in the description below. Number 10, length of the national anthem. Is it going to be over or under a minute and 27 seconds? Mickey Guyton, a multi-Grammy nominated artist, will be singing the national anthem. We've done some research and Guyton has sung the national anthem before. In fact, we found two recordings, one of them clocked in at a minute and 25 and the other came in just under a minute 30. Will she change things up for the Super Bowl? Only time will tell. Or maybe like last year, someone will leak the performance time during her rehearsal. Until that leak comes, I like the over and wouldn't be surprised to see some vocal embellishment during a big moment like the Super Bowl. Number nine, Mickey Guyton's wardrobe props. Guyton was raised in Texas and currently lives in Nashville. However, she did live in Los Angeles for a stint. In fact, according to her Wikipedia page, she moved there after high school and stayed there working in the music industry until 2011. She's 38 now, so from some math we can guess that she lived in the City of Angels probably close to 10 years. Although the Rams didn't move back to LA until 2016, perhaps Guyton will feel some kinship towards the team that now occupies her former city. If that's the case, I like the odds of her wearing a blue dress at plus 350 or a yellow dress at plus 300. Number 8. Total songs performed during the halftime show. The over-under is 8.5. With Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Eminem, Kendrick Lamar, and Mary J. Blige all performing, what are the chances they all get two songs? That put you at 10 and the over. Maybe they get one song apiece and a couple all together. That could be the under. I still like the over here with five big names performing. Number seven, which artist performs first during the halftime show? Would anything be more fitting than Mary J. Blige kicking off the group Super Bowl performance with Family Affair? I actually like Kendrick Lamar to get things started though. Unlike Blige or Eminem, Lamar is an LA native, but so is Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre, which could make this tough. Number six, will there be a football prop during the halftime show? Yes, this is a prop bet about a prop. Snoop Dogg is known to love football, so could a football make an appearance during one of his songs or during anyone else's? I think yes is worth it here for plus 300 odds, so go ahead and take that yes. Number five, will Snoop Dogg smoke on stage? We already talked about Snoop loving football. You know what else he loves? The devil's lettuce. Marijuana may be legalized in California, but the NFL isn't a huge fan of any type of drug use since it, you know, brands itself as a family product. Because of that, I'm going to go with no here. Number four, will any of Eminem's performance need to be censored? This bet says that the sound must be intentionally cut or bleeped during Eminem's performance for the bet to be graded a winner. If you know Eminem, you know he has few songs that don't use a word that would need to be bleeped on live TV. The 49-year-old Slim Shady has mellowed with time, but yes is the favorite here for a reason, and I would go with it. Number three, will Martha Stewart appear on stage with Snoop Dogg? Not gonna lie, this one is my personal favorite prop bet out of all of them. Everyone knows, or at least some should, about the longtime friendship between OG rapper Snoop Dogg and convicted felon slash TV personality Martha Stewart. They even had a cooking show together on VH1. But will Snoop's SWC, his nickname for Martha Stewart standing for skinny white chick, make an appearance on stage at the Super Bowl? My wallet says no, but my heart wants it to be yes. So, so badly. Number two, who will the Super Bowl MVP mention first in his speech? Of course, you can bet on the Super Bowl MVP, but that's boring. What's even better is to bet on who the Super Bowl MVP will thank first in his speech after the big game. Most likely the winner will be the winning team's quarterback, so we're looking at either Matthew Stafford or Joe Burrow. The Rams are favorites, so who would Stafford thank first? Maybe the coach or the owner that saved him from Detroit and brought him to LA? Maybe his wife, whom he has a very tight relationship with due to their personal struggles. If Burrow gets it, 
Maybe he thanks the city of Cincinnati, since he's an Ohio native, and it would be the first Bengals Lombardi trophy ever. Just about every option is in play here, so really do some research. And at number one, we have the absolute classic what color liquid gets poured on the Super Bowl winning coach. Last year was a huge upset win for Blue Gatorade, but can Glacier, or was it Blue Cherry flavor, go back to back? Blue soaked the sticky skins of winning coaches in two out of the last three Super Bowls, so that undoubtedly is my favorite and what I would choose for this bet. But if we look back a little further, Orange has showered and possibly quenched the thirst of five winning coaches in the previous 12 seasons. Plus, Orange just tastes better than Blue. Do you have any favorite prop bets from this list? Did any of your favorites not make the list? Let us know in the comments down below, and be sure to like and subscribe for even more sports and betting content.